Hi everyone, so I worked with Brianna I on the play space lesson plan. So our idea for the lesson plan is um, for students to create traps for spotted lantern flies. So the whole idea came around actually an experience that I had in my clinical placement. So um, I'm at Bradford in Montclair and one day we found a bunch of like the spotted lantern flies in our classroom. And the kids, like, knew some stuff about them. They're, they're like, oh, we have to kill it. Like, we have to kill them. Um, and they're like, it's an invasive species. And they were so interested in, like, what they were. And they're asking so many questions. So that's why I thought it'd be a good idea to do something like this for the place based lesson plan. Because it's very specific to where students live. And, I mean, the spotted lantern flies were all around the playground and stuff. So I thought for the lesson plan that we could do, um, like students basically create their own traps and then be like a whole like trial and error. So that's kind of like the backstory behind our lesson plan. So then the standards that it addresses is we did for third grade. Um, and it's the one is about like environment changes and like the types of plants and animals um, that it affects. So for that, we would focus on like invasive species and this would be like a whole learning unit so we would talk about invasive species why they're here how we can get rid of them all that good stuff and then the second standard um revolved around engineering and um designing a way to solve a problem and that would involve the traps that for the spotted lantern flies so um, we would begin, this specific lesson would be the first lesson in the learning unit. And we would begin by giving students a short pre-assessment that would give like six different plants and animals and they would have to circle the ones that they believe are invasive species. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like losing my voice. And then um, we would go over that as a class, kind of as an entry point into the lesson. And then from there, um, the teacher would kind of go over what an invasive species is. I found a really good YouTube video. And um, then we would talk more specifically about the spotted lantern fly. And I feel like most students at this point have heard of the spotted lantern fly just because like it's been a huge problem. So we would talk about that. And then um, we would talk about how we can create traps in order to trap these animals. So um, I found another YouTube video on on like um I think it was Cub Scouts on how they made traps and kind of what they did so then we would talk about that you know how it worked and then we would kind of get break students into groups and have them design their own trap just on paper like drawing um for the first lesson and then they would write why they think it works and students would also um get a chance to do their own research we would let them use a laptop to kind of search oh what works what doesn't work kind of to just get to know more about the spotted lantern fly in general so and then at the end we would do an exit ticket that is about um what they learned today so that would include information in the video um some like true false and also the last question would be um like why do you think your trap would work so they would have to answer that. And then, so this, again, would just be like the first lesson. So in future lessons, students would actually build the traps and then we would place them out and we would see <coughs> <coughs> which ones worked, which ones didn't work. You know, if they captured any spotted lantern flies and then if they didn't work, we would go back and, you know, retest it. And if the trap did work, maybe we would build more and place them around different places in the community. So I believe that this lesson is very place-based because um, it gives students the opportunity to solve a problem in their own community. And um, it just like very much so has to do with where students live. And I also feel like students would be very interested because it is kind of like a hot topic. And like I said, at my clinical placement, all the students were so interested in the spotted lantern fly just because it's kind of like new in a way. So it's very interesting to them. So that's pretty much it for our um, lesson plan. Oh, learning objectives. So back to our specific um, lesson plan, the learning objectives have to 
re revolve around invasive species like do students understand what an invasive species is, species is and that would be done through the exit ticket and the pre-assessment and then the other one is can they create a trap and that would be done through how they draw their trap and then obviously tested in future lessons. So that's pretty much it for me and Brianna's lesson plan.